Hello Fight fans, welcome to another edition of Boxing Time TV. Tonight we have the third bout between Ramon Chocolatito Gonzalez and Juan Francisco Estrada. Let's just get right to it. Gonzalez 34, Estrada 31, Estrada 5-3. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Gonzalez 5-3, Estrada 5-4. They both weigh 115 pounds. Uh, 64 reach for Gonzalez, 66 reach for Estrada. Um, 50 fights, 3 losses for Ramon Gonzalez, 1 Francisco Estrada, 43 fights, 42 fights, 3 losses. Um, the only one of them that's been stopped is uh, Ramon Gonzalez, and uh, that was by um, Wakasil Wanget, who's also known as uh, Sangreset. I It's hard for me to say the names, I apologize. Probably should have prepared more for this. Um, this bout is scheduled for 12 rounds, 3 minute rounds, 10 point must scoring system, no mandatory 8 count, 3 knockdown rule waived. Let's just get right to the action. Um, we did, this is the third fight between these guys, so it is a rubber match. And um, I, uh, I, I want to say, um, I'm going to link that bout to this because I don't want to give too much, too much away. Um, in, in, in real life, they fought twice. In the first bout, in the first bout Gonzalez won. Second bout, Estrada won, but many people thought that Gonzalez won, hence why they're having the rematch on October 16th. So, what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to put on that, that fight, and um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm wondering what we're going to see here. For some reason, I think Estrada is going to win in this simulation. I could be wrong, um, but we will, we, will, we will see. I, I only say that because Estrada has a good chin. Chocolatito, I think, has more power, but generally the fighter with a good chin and kind of, you know, maybe maybe just fresher, I guess, might do it. But Gonzalez going to the body now, and um, Estrada catching him. So, uh, yeah, these two are uh, battling one another and, uh, or, you know, attempting to. It's been kind of tactical, although Estrada landing with the uppercut. And uh, Chocolatito, um, you know, taking it. Um, we have uh, some upcoming bouts that we're going to be doing. Well, the next bout is going to be Jamal Herring versus, um, versus uh, oh gosh, Shakur Stevenson. Then after that, I was going to do Triple G versus Murata. And then I might do Josh Taylor versus Jake Catterall. Brandon Figueroa versus a gentleman by the name of Fulton. Um, then there's talk of Jaime Munguia fighting Sergei Derevinchenko. And then Navarrete versus Gonzalez, I think. I think that's on the undercard of... Or... or I, Actually, I don't think that they're going to be connected. I wanted to say it was going to be on the undercard of the Ramon Gonzalez-Juan Francisco Estrada fight. But, you know, we will uh, see. So we're in the final minute of this, the 12th round. And um, so far, it looks like Estrada may slightly may be having an advantage, although I know that Gonzalez would love to counter him, would love to land, would love to stop him. I just think maybe it's a taller order, um, given the fact that, you know, he lost such a close decision. People thought that he... Um, People thought that he won, and I don't know, so maybe that's hard to come back from. I don't know. Maybe Gonzalez is going to do something that he wasn't able to do in the first fight. I do know that the simulation that we ran between uh, Gennady Golovkin and Canelo Alvarez was strikingly different from when we, um, from, 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 their, from their, I've done all three of their fights, and it changed from the first two to the third one. So we're done with the first round. Let's see what the judges say. They're both breathing heavy. One judge gives it to Estrada. One judge has it even. And another judge gives it to Estrada. So right now, Gonzalez down by two points as we head into the second round. And maybe Gonzalez will start letting his hands go more in this the second round. And looking at the records of these guys. And these guys are trading right now. We're seeing some great action. Let's look at the record of Ramon Gonzalez. Um, his last bout, he lost that disputed decision to Juan Francisco Estrada. His victories over Israel Gonzalez, um, Khalid Yafi. Um, though he has a loss to, um, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring him up here. Well, 
keep this going. Uh, three set sore rung VC, and um, he was stopped by him, and then he also lost a decision. Oh wow! Look at that. So Gonzalez kind of going out more, landing landing hard shots, really trying to get uh, Estrada's attention. Okay, sorry that keeps happening. I'm just switching between screens. I really should be doing it on my phone. Um, victory over Carlos Kudras. I was actually at that fight. That was at the Forum. Um, Hernan Marquez. Victory over Brian Beloria. Wait, hold on. Sorry, no, no, no. I'm, lo I'm sorry, I'm looking over Ramon Gonzalez. Although I know that Gonzalez does have... Sorry, I, this keeps happening. Um, you guys are going to probably get up, get upset with me for, for all that. So, yes, uh, victory over Carlos Kudras, victory over McWilliams Arroyo. Like I said, Brian Beloria. So, you know, he has a good record, but so does Juan Francisco Estrada. We'll actually talk about that in the next bout. Um, I'd like to thank you so much for tuning in to Boxing Time TV. If you like what you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with your family and friends. Please tell people about this. Um, I love getting the comments. I love hearing from everyone. We're in the final minute of the second round. You can also give me a follow on Instagram. My handle there is Boxing Time with Evan. Um, and it's basically just a shadow page where I promote this YouTube podcast. I think Ramon Gonzalez landing hard punches this round, really trying to make a statement, knows that he probably lost the first round, maybe you know wasn't as active, although you know Estrada throwing a lot of punches here. Both these guys fighting at a high velocity. Oh, and going to the body is Gonzalez. All right. So once again, Gonzalez losing that round on one judge's scorecard, losing a round on another judge's scorecard. So I guess I was wrong. He lost on all three judges' scorecards. So Ramon Gonzalez down by five points as we head into the third round. It's now a 10-round fight. He's still got a lot of time left. But has Juan Francisco Estrada in the two fights that they've had, has he figured him out a bit? Gonzalez, you know, counter-punching, clipping him. But then you have uh, Juan Francisco Estrada doing that, and that looks very good to the judges, very, very flashy. Oh, and right now, Estrada landing very, very well. Um, Gonzalez trying, landed some shots in there, but it just seems like he's being outworked by Juan Francisco Estrada, and at some point, Gonzalez is going to have to start putting his combinations together. That ultimately is what's going to tell the tale in this, in this, in this fight. Maybe Gonzalez is conserving something for later in the fight a little bit, hoping to maybe come on when he thinks that Estrada's kind of blown his wad. We will have to see.
All right. So once again, Gonzalez breathing heavy, Estrada breathing heavy, and Gonzalez losing that round on all three judges' scorecards as we head into the fourth round. I'm telling you, Ramon Gonzalez better start getting going because we're going to be halfway through this fight in, 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 like, in less than three rounds. And Juan Francisco Estrada is just, you know, just out, seemingly just outworking him. And, I mean, Gonzalez having his moment, showing that he can land, but Juan Francisco Estrada just one step ahead of him the entire way. Oh, and there Gonzalez catching him. We'll see if that can tell the tale, but Juan Francisco Estrada has a good chin. He's gone this, you know, he's gone, the, never been stopped. Gonzalez has. So right now we're reaching a point, you know, I, mean, I know we're only four rounds in. There's a long fight here, and who knows what the long game is of Ramon Gonzalez, but he just looks to be just a half step behind Juan Francisco Estrada. He's taking shots to the head, taking shots to the body, and even though he may not hit as hard as Ramon Gonzalez, those punches do add up, folks. Oh, and, 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 you know, this could, you know, be also be a tactic for Ramon Gonzalez, drawing Juan Francisco Estrada out, hoping to get him into a brawl, hoping to get him into the type of contest where this becomes a, a tough, ugly, dirty fight. Could be. All right, one judge having it even, another judge giving it to Estrada, another judge giving it to Estrada. So, somewhat of a better round score-wise for Ramon Gonzalez, but he's behind by 10 points. Comes out, eats a left hand from Juan Francisco Estrada. Juan Francisco Estrada is, you know, gonna, he's, you know, we're gonna, in, in less than two rounds now, we're gonna be halfway through this fight, and he is looking terrific against Ramon, to Ramon Chocolatito Gonzalez. Well, in a little bit, we'll look at the record of Juan Francisco Estrada. Oh, and Ramon Gonzalez trying to land in center ring. And, um, you know, he's being patient. I give him credit. He's being very, very patient. He lands a left hand. And uh, right now, Juan Francisco Estrada just outworking and continuing to outwork him. And, um, you know, he's getting Gonzalez's attention. Gonzalez having spots, finding his spots. This bout this bout's being fought at such a high rate that Juan Francisco Estrada is 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 just pulling is just pulling ahead. 
This isn't to say that Ramon Gonzalez couldn't summon something and, and turn the tide. But right now, against a fighter with a really good chin, it doesn't, it, it's not looking like it's going to happen. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. Still a long way to go in this fight. And right there, you're seeing Gonzalez landing. So as long as you can touch him, he's still in this fight. But we're coming down to the final minute of the fifth round. And Juan Francisco Estrada does not seem to be slowing down in any way, shape, or form. And neither does Ramon Gonzalez. He just needs to be doing more. He needs to be busy. All right, so Gonzalez getting that on one of the judges' scorecards. The other two giving it to Estrada. So Gonzalez down now by 11 points as we go into the sixth round. Somewhat close, but it seems like Estrada's pulling, pulling ahead. And if this bout keeps up like this, Gonzalez is going to find himself needing, uh, need, needing a knockout. A, round, a couple more rounds like this, and he's certainly going to need a bunch of knockdowns or a knockout in order to you know, in order to be in this fight. Oh, look at this and and oh now Estrada getting him against the ropes, trying to make a statement. Trying to make Gonzalez wonder if he wants to be around for the other for the other half of the fight. And I'm gonna say this, I don't care how you know less of a power puncher he is than Gonzalez. If, if Estrada can continue landing shots like this, if he can continue throwing punches like this, it is going to be a uh, it is going to be a short night for Ramon Gonzalez. And Estrada does need to be careful. Uh, Chocolatito is still dangerous. And um, like I said, we're going we're to talk a little bit about Juan Francisco Estrada in his record in the next round. Okay, so one judge now giving it 10-8, another judge giving it 10-9, another judge giving it 10-9. So Ramon Gonzalez uh, behind by 15 points. Um, 
and and here we are now um, in the seventh round. Once again, you're watching Boxing Time TV. If you like what you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with your family and friends. Please, you know, just continue just letting us know how you feel. I love the comments. I love hearing from people. I'm just happy that people seem to care. Uh, his last bout was a victory over Ramon Gonzalez. It was a bit controversial, hence the rematch. Also has victories over um, Carlos, sorry, Carlos Kudras, sorry, um, Dwayne Beeman, um, Swigret Rungvisi, uh, Victor, Victor Mendez, um, has a loss to Swigret Rungvisi, I know I'm saying that name wrong, um, two victories over Carlos Kudras, um, victory over, uh, here, let's go. Victory over Brian Valoria. And um, victory, just, I'm just, I'm just seeing it. And you have Gonzalez landing hard on Ron Francisco Estrada, showing he's not going gently into that good night. But, um, yeah, it doesn't, it, it, it's, you know, right now, it's been all Juan Francisco Estrada. He's now starting to get 10-8 rounds. I think we're seeing Ramon Gonzalez wilting, and um, he's, he needs to figure it out. He needs to land something. He needs to get himself back in this fight, because right now, Juan Francisco Estrada has no reason to stop doing what he's been doing all night. All right, a uh, left hand by Ramon Gonzalez. Oh, and now getting punched in the ropes by Juan Francisco Estrada. And just as Gonzalez tries to get set to launch an onslaught, Juan Francisco Estrada just takes a little step back, moves out of the way, and Gonzalez can't, cannot hit him. So we are now halfway through the bout. We have five more, we have five more rounds. Uh, they're saying Gonzalez is very tired. Estrada is breathing heavy, but has a cut over his eye. So things do get more interesting. 10-8, 10-9, 10-9 nine, nine for Estrada. So this gets really interesting because Estrada does have a cut over his eye. So if Gonzalez can kind of open that up a little bit and it becomes a gash, this bout could be stopped at any moment. If that's the case, all the great work that Juan Francisco Estrada has done to get to this point where he is 19 points ahead of Ramon Gonzalez. Ramon Gonzalez essentially needs a knockout to win. He's being pummeled along the ropes. Doesn't matter. Because right now, he just took, oh, look at that. And Chocolatito getting, 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 getting wobbled on the ropes. Juan Francisco Estrada does not, wants, to, wants to end things. And, and you know, he's, he's got to be careful, though. He just took two. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Another hard shot by Juan Francisco Estrada. And Gonzalez is seriously hurt. He's taking some hard, some hard shots. I know they say that, you know, Gonzalez hits harder than Estrada. But right now... Estrada is beating him up against against the ropes, folks. Which that would, I mean, Juan Francisco Estrada would love nothing more than to get a stoppage. He's been going to the body. He's been landing. We'll see if it's possible. But he's, he, he's bringing himself closer to the danger zone. He does have the cut. He's been punched a bunch of times already in the head by Ramon Gonzalez in this round. So we're going to see.
<laughs> oh, and Gonzalez getting getting hit. He's fighting off the ropes. He knows he's fighting for his life. He knows he has Juan Francisco Estrada cut. Maybe he's hoping if he can continue to land on that, he can pull something off. And these guys are going for it now. And Ramon Gonzalez trying to get back into this fight. He's just not sustaining those punches. One, two punches at a time isn't going to do anything. He needs to be throwing combinations. He needs to be fast on his feet. He needs to be bouncing around. But we're in the eighth round of a, of a, of a bout in which he has pretty much lost every round. And I just don't see that happening. Not that it can't. Oh, and especially when he lands an uppercut like that. Uh, but, you know, Juan Francisco Estrada taking these shots hasn't seemed to be really hurt aside from the cut. All right. So we are now going into the eighth round. They're saying that Gonzalez is very tired and has a bruised rib. Estrada's breathing heavy and has a cut over his eye. 10 eights, all for Juan Francisco Estrada. He is now up by 25 points as we go into the ninth round. We're going to be in the championship round. Both guys are hurt. Gonzalez is hurt to the body. Estrada, Estrada has the cut. I think, honestly, Gonzalez is in much worse shape, but we will, but we will have to see. Oh, and now he goes to the body, and Juan Francisco Estrada has him hurt, and it's not just going to take a few more of those body, body shots. And um, he's continuing to land on him, and, and, and Gonzalez just taking it. And you got to give Juan Francisco Estrada credit. He's come out, he's throwing punches with bad intentions, and he's really kind of just taking Gonzalez out of this fight. Oh. So we are now, we have less than two minutes to go, and this is the ninth round. It's kind of heating up now. Both guys slowing down a little bit, settling down more, uh, more on their punches. Juan Francisco Estrada going, going, going to the body. He's, you know, and, and you give Chocolatito credit. He's been hurt several, several times. And right now, he's just getting hurt. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to see something better than that. He's just getting pummeled. And you have uh, Estrada with these 10-8 10 10-8 rounds. And I know that he's cut, but uh, he's got to land punches. I mean, when was the last time we saw Ramon Gonzalez throw something, let alone land something meaningful in this round? Oh, uppercut by Juan Francisco Estrada. Oh, landing with that right hand is Ramon Gonzalez. And like I said, oh, going to the body. He's getting hurt every time he throws to the body. Oh, and hitting him right hand. A hard right hand. Juan Francisco Estrada just throwing hard, giving as good as he gets. Oh, and so now they're saying that Gonzalez is very tired and has a bruised rib. Estrada's breathing heavy, cut over his eye. 10 eights, all for Estrada. He's now up by 31 points. No. He's up by 30 points. Gonzalez clearly needs a knockout to win. It's not out of the realm of possibility. Juan Francisco Estrada is cut, but I don't see it happening. Juan Francisco Estrada has come in with a game plan. He's fighting like a man possessed. He's building up such a point lead, and it's going to be a feather in his cap. Whether he gets a knockout or a decision, because a decision that lopsided against a fighter of the caliber of Ramon Chocolatito Gonzalez is, is going to say something. He's just coming out, and he's wailing on him now. Oh, and just punching him into the ropes. 
Oh, and Gonzalez landing. Oh, and he takes a shot to the body, and he's hurt. Oh, and he takes more shots to the body. Uh, uppercut landed by Ramon Gonzalez. Something that you know kind of keeps him in the fight a little bit. Maybe gets Fence, you know, Juan Francisco Estrada's attention a little bit. But it's been all Juan Francisco Estrada. And um, you know, if 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 Gonzalez was hurt more on a bruised rib, I would say maybe they should stop it. Both guys still in this. Uh, but it just looks like um, you know they're gonna Juan Francisco Estrada is gonna go out. Um, no, he's going to take a very Big decision over Ramon Chocolatito Gonzalez. And it's a well-deserved decision should he get there. The fight's not over yet, but it certainly seems like it is. And it's a body of shots. It's just taking so much out of Gonzalez. But he's staying up. Hasn't gone down. Oh, and, and gets and gets oh and gets wobbled with a with a with a left hand. Oh, left hand. And so far, Juan Francisco Estrada going to the body, punching Chocolatito into the ropes. It's, it's reaching a point where this bout should be stopped, I think, now. They're saying that uh, Gonzalez still has a bruised rib, Chocolatito, uh, Estrada breathing, breathing heavy, cut over his eye, 10-8, 10-8. All once again for Juan Francisco Estrada. He's up by 36 points as we head into the 11th round. And he just comes out and he's just beginning. He's, he's picking up where he left off. And Ramon Gonzalez lands a left hand. And he's, you know, he's trying to do something. And, you know, hey, if anything, Juan Francisco Estrada might get so tired he could get dropped by something. He's thrown so many punches. He's got to be thinking, what is keeping this guy up? And, you know, that's the thing. Gonzalez was never really in this fight. Never. Even, even after the first round, just never really in it. Had some moments here and there, but never really in it. And as a guy commentating, I'm almost like, I, I can't believe what I'm seeing. You, know, you don't believe what you're seeing. So, you know, sometimes that could affect the judging. But we're seeing the judging in real time here on this game. Because the game obviously doesn't have that. But, you know, that's sort of that judge's perspective. But, man... Oh, and lands the left hand, and oh, and I'm just saying he, he's getting hurt in every round. And Gonzalez truly in survival mode. Oh, and you got to give Juan Francisco Estrada credit. He's landing well. Oh, and lands an uppercut. But I'm telling you, he's recovering quickly. He's recovering quickly from these from these shots. Oh, and going to the body. Oh, uppercut. Oh, and Gonzalez hurt. But just recovering. It's all literally, I want to say... Every time Juan Francisco Estrada has really bared down on his punches in this round, he's hurt Ramon Chiquito, Chocolatito Gonzalez. Keep wanting to call him Ch Chiquita. 
after Umberto Chiquita Gonzalez, the great Umberto Chiquita Gonzalez, who I believe competed in the same weight class. Great fights against Michael Carbajal. Tough, tough guy. Hit like a ton of bricks. Oh, Juan Francisco Estrada punctuating that round. That, that could be a 10-7, folks. Bruised rib. Breathing heavy. Wow, 10-9. 10-7. See, okay. Another 10-9. Okay. Well, folks, rendering the final round. Pretty much academic at this point. Francisco, Juan Francisco Estrada, well ahead on points. Walks in the three left hands. Hey, Ramon Gonzalez, where was that earlier? I mean, right now he's countering. Quite, I mean, it's just, it's not, you know, and Juan Francisco Estrada is so in the zone, so in his game. Oh, and punch gets punched into the ropes. And hey, we've seen strange things happen, so Ramon Gonzalez can still pull this off. I just, I don't know, I don't, it doesn't seem likely, especially the way that Juan Francisco Estrada's fighting, punching and being so out of the range of the return fire from Ramon Ch Chocolatito Gonzalez. I'm just going to take this moment to do my sign-outs now. Once again, you're watching Boxing Time TV. If you like what you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with your family and friends. Um, just please comment. Um, just Thank you for watching. It's, uh, you know, I enjoy doing this podcast. It's, it's entertaining. I wish I was not as tired right now, but, you know, last night I commentated. I worked the Fight Club OC show in Orange County. Um, it was great. Six bouts. We, uh, Fight Club OC is back. So uh, let's see what happens now in the future. Another upper cup by Juan Francisco Estrada. Oh and, wa oh, and finally drops from own to Chocolatito Gonzalez. Chocolatito Gonzalez, he deserves to get up. He, he should get up. He finished this fight. He, he does. And Juan Francisco Estrada punctuating an already strong performance. Um, short of him walking into something monstrous and being stopped, which could happen. We have a minute to go. Um, he is going to take a very lopsided decision over Ramon Chocolatito Gonzalez. Who I give all the credit in the world for taking a lot of punches, doing the best that he could, but just was never in this fight. And he tried, but just was never in this fight. Oh! Oh, I say that. Look, he lands the left hand and... Chocolatito Gonzalez finally wobbling Juan Francisco and Estrada. Did he set something up for the final few seconds? And now both guys kind of staring at one another. And it's, you know, it's it's all Juan Francisco Estrada. He's just jabbing. Chocolatito, yeah, you know, it just isn't gonna it just isn't gonna happen. But man, he tried. He almost did it. He got Juan Francisco Estrada's attention. Uh, lopsided decision for Juan Francisco Estrada. Thank you so much once again for tuning in. We'll get to the particulars and then do our sign out. Boxing Time TV, our logo is Why Wait? Watch it now. Then watch the real thing when it airs. The winner is Estrada, as you can see by a, by a unanimous decision. Uh, the fight lasted 12 rounds. Gonzalez was knocked down one time and has a bruised rib. Gonzalez was knocked down and has a cut over his eye. So the bouts are 119-104, 120, 103, 120-105. So thank you so much for tuning in, folks, and we'll see you next time here on Boxing Time TV.